Hi guys, I've got a Kourtney Kardashian tutorial today. This is a look that she wore to Chris's 60th birthday party and I just thought it was so classy looking. And also I bought Court K by Kylie and I thought it was only appropriate to do a Kourtney Kardashian look complete with Court K. I'm also gonna be showing you a different way that you can contour, which I think is amazing. Like how good does this contour look right now? Not to blow my own trumpet, but it does look pretty on fleek. So if you would like to find out how you do that as well, carry on watching. The first thing I did was spray my face with this vitamin infused prep spray from Urban Decay. Don't really know what it does, but it just feels nice anyway. <laughs> I then moved on to foundation and I took this MAC Studio Fix and I lightened it with one of these shade adjusting drops from the body shop because it was a little bit too dark for me. These are honestly such a good way to lighten any foundation that you've got and because I wear a lot of fake tan, it goes through stages of being darker sometimes and lighter other times, so it works perfectly. But anyways, I just blended that in with this MAC Oval 6 brush. Courtney's concealer is never too brightening so I just took the Rimmel Wake Me Up and it's in a similar shade to my skin anyway so it didn't brighten them too much but it just gave a little bit of light to my under eyes while still covering up the bags there. I then took a little bit of the Rimmel concealer on the back of my hand and I took the darkening drops from the body shop and mixed them together. Now the good thing about this is you can basically choose whatever shade you want to make them but I just made mine this kind of medium brown shade, popped it in a line on my cheekbones and blended it in and it made the most amazing subtle contour, it looked insane. These drops have honestly made doing my makeup so much easier because I can either lighten it or darken it to create whatever look I want. I think it's incredible. Time for blusher. Courtney had a little bit of a rosy glow so I'm taking my Benefit Rocketeur blush just on the apples of my cheeks and blending it upwards. For highlighter, I took this Urban Decay Afterglow Highlight in the shade Sin. Look how much of a BAM highlight this is. Honestly, it's insane. For eyeshadow, I started off with this medium glittery brown shade by Inglot and just popped it all over my lid and made sure to blend that in at the edges. I then took this dark matte brown into the crease of my eye just to deepen it up a little bit. To add a little bit of shimmer I went in with this shade from the Urban Decay palette. It's called Smog and I just put that kind of in the middle of my eyelid. I then went in with the shade Dark Horse on my upper lash line and just blended that in to make it a bit darker. Courtney has really dark eyebrows so I took the shade Crave which is basically a black from the Urban Decay Naked palette and just filled mine in. And finally onto lips. How could I do a Kardashian look without including one of Kylie's lip kits? I took this one in the shade Court K which is actually made for Courtney. So obviously I based this look around this lip kit which I'm pretty sure she was wearing on the night of Chris's birthday. I just filled my lips in with the liner and then went in with the liquid lipstick and it's a perfect matte, really, really dark berry purple shade. And finally onto lashes, I took these Ardell lashes, but first I just applied a little bit of mascara to my top lashes and a lot of mascara to the bottom, and then just applied the falsies. And this is a completed Kourtney Kardashian look. And that is the 
end of my Kourtney Kardashian tutorial. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it. And also let me know if you would like me to do one for Chloe with Coco K and one for Kylie with a different one of her lip kits because I've got basically all of them except for 22. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!